so this video is about Itaewon. So everyone has been asking me what is Itaewon like these days since Halloween. Are people going out there? How are the businesses doing? And actually I haven't been back here since November basically. I went to the memorial thing and that was the last time I've come to Itaewon. It's freezing today. <laughs> I'm very cold. I chose the wrong day to do this. Right now I'm at a cafe called Itaewon Moment and it's so nice. The owner, she is so pretty. Oh my goodness. She looks like a K-pop idol or something. And I had an Einspanner which was so creamy and then I also had a raspberry butter skirt. Really really good and the vibe is so nice. It's a rooftop here. You can see Namsan Tower over there. And I'm just catching the sunset right now. So if I give you a little history on the district of Itaewon, during the Second World War, the US military, they were based in Yongsan, which is Itaewon's district, from 1945. And that unfortunately meant like the nearby villages became hubs for entertainment and prostitution. And from then, Itaewon was kind of seen as like this really seedy, dangerous place for most Koreans. There were so many brothels and women getting manipulated and being forced into prostitution. So it has a history, painful history, but obviously nowadays it's not like that. And I'm telling you, I'm not even joking, there are these places called Homo Hill and Hook hill i've seen pictures from back in the day and it was literally still mud korea has advanced so quickly but back then it was literally just like mud and carts and like cows on the streets now itaewon has become super gentrified and then the u.s base they moved out of itaewon and they moved into like southern seoul pyeongtaek in 2017 so military presence is gone but itaewon still remains known as the spot for foreigners who live in seoul during recent years it has basically become one of seoul's most popular and busiest places to visit the nightlife in Itaewon is infamous. It's probably the place to party or it used to be and it also has very trendy restaurants and cafes in this area and due to Itaewon having this international carefree reputation, Itaewon is known as the place to go for Halloween and obviously if you guys know this past year on October 29th there was a crowd crush in the narrow streets of Itaewon and 196 people died, mostly young adults and it's one of the most tragic disasters in recent Korean history and this busy bustling neighborhood has not been the same since then. I know because I came here so much during the summer. So guys here in Itaewon on a Saturday night. Saturday night? Friday night. Friday night. I always have to have you bring some videos at the end of the night. It has the best rooftop bars and has gorgeous views of the city. Itaewon has actually gone through being a ghost town once before, back in 2020. There was a COVID-19 cluster. It broke out from some Itaewon clubs. Some of them were LGBTQ clubs. And back then, Korea had COVID super controlled. Like there were barely any cases in the country. And then, you know, there was a COVID breakout in Itaewon. So everybody avoided the area and businesses suffered as a result. Many went down under, but some managed to pull through. And I would say by the beginning of 2022 it was basically back to how it was before the pandemic like i said i haven't been back here since halloween but i have had a few friends that have been out to itaewon recently and they are saying to me people are going out there the trendy and hip cafes around this area they're completely full but in terms of nightlife i'm not really sure what it's like so today i will find out and show you guys in terms of food you obviously find international cuisine that is hard to find elsewhere in korea after a drunk night out you always need to get a kebab <laughs> and i also I love Fatos, it's a Mexican place. The famous K drama Itaewon Club, a lot of the filming locations were around here. Gyeonggi Dangge and Hebangchon is one of those really hip areas. There's loads of wine bars, cool restaurants. And in general, Gyeonggi Dan is way less noisy and way less crowded than the main Itaewon street, obviously. And nearby, there's like also the wealthy Hannamdong. There are a lot of embassies there, so a lot of important government officials. Apartments such as Hannam the Hill, one of the most expensive apartments to live in Korea. BTS, they live in Hannam the Hill. There are landmarks around here such as the Grand Hyatt Hotel and the Hamilton Hotel. They hold really cool pool parties in the summer. I went to one last year. I saw Jay Park there. The UN Club is like the birthplace of hip-hop in Seoul and all that jazz which is unfortunately closed now but it was the first jazz club to open in Korea. And there was a song released in 2011 by the hip-hop duo called UV, also JY. <laughs> and it was called Itaewon Freedom and it's basically singing about like youth and we can be free, we can be who we want in Itaewon
There are many gay bars, transgender bars, drag shows in the area. I haven't actually been into one. I really want to. I want to see a drag show. Obviously in Korea, being LGBTQ is still very much a taboo thing. You have to kind of keep it hidden. But Itaewon is like one of the places where you can come and kind of express yourself. So I'm filming this on Seollal weekend, Lunar New Year. I don't know if every business will be open, but I'm gonna go and I'll get some food and then I'll try and show you some nightlife. Let's go! This is a fitness test. I consider myself to be pretty fit, but these are steep hills. Oh my god, it's super steep. It's okay right now because it's like freezing cold, but you try doing this in the summer, you break out in a sweat, you need a shower immediately. You know, I don't know what it is, but when I was in New York, I had like no problem just like whipping out my camera and like start vlogging, talking to myself. But in Korea, I feel very self-conscious. I don't know why. Oh my god, I seriously never seen it on this empty. This street, this empty? Oh my god. In the summer, like there's like not even space to walk around here. There's literally nobody here. So they're doing these like promotions to try and get people to come in. They're giving discounts. So I'm gonna go and try and support the businesses. These photo things are everywhere in Seoul. I don't know why. Businesses are open, but like there's no one here. It's today's a Friday. This is the where Itaewon class was filmed. Okay, I really wanted tacos. It's a fairly recently opened place. I'll go get tacos. could eat tacos every day. I've had my share of really good tacos, especially like around the world, like LA, Brooklyn. And like, to be honest, in Seoul, it's quite hard to get good Mexican food. But like, for the ones that I've had in Seoul, this one's quite up there, I would say. Good. So now, I'm going in here. British food, you guys. A lot of potatoes and beige. <laughs> you taste of British. I hate fish and chips. I might just get a dessert. Tim's is very, very British. To be honest, the drink from the taco place that was super strong. So I'm like, I don't need another alcoholic drink. I'm actually too cold for ice cream. I really haven't had an Indian curry in a while. I might get this. This is something unique to Korea. They give you like spare batteries so you can charge your phones and loads of plugs. You definitely don't see this in the UK. Okay, so <laughs> this is definitely Asian rice, not Indian rice. I would say the sauce is quite authentic, but the rice is definitely not a traditional Indian rice. Indian rice is really fly away and not sticky. This is definitely like sticky Asian type rice, but the sauce is pretty good. Okay, so I'm walking out of the Rose and Crown. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, like the food is not like the best, <laughs> best you're ever gonna get in Seoul. Let me just be perfectly honest. But it was nice to feel like I was back in the UK, like a typical UK pub again. Oh my god guys, this is Waikiki and like there's usually lines of people out here. It's empty. I can't, I can't even just looking at that street makes me feel weird. This is actually crazy. Oh my god, I remember watching videos. It makes me feel weird, honestly. Everything's like open, like they're playing music and shit. 
but like there's literally no one inside honestly i feel even weird being here like i feel the energy so i'm gonna get out the next place i have to walk to hooker hill it's away from this place so let's go together like usually these streets are full of people but there's like no one so this is the beginning of where all the gay uh, transgender clubs are I've never been into them though So this is the beginning of Hooker Hill That's the little alley And up there, that's Homo Hill It's like, well everything's empty So this is Hooker Hill that I'm standing on is like the small like little alley the bar that i'm going to right now is called grand old opry i've read about this place on the internet it used to be no koreans it was only for foreigners and the lady that owns it she is korean but she married an american man but he died a few years ago so she's widowed and it's like a proper american country music place and she runs it every day they let koreans in now but it's cash only for koreans whereas i think for foreigners she accepts credit card yeah apparently she's had a really interesting life I think she's in her 70s and she can speak English obviously so I really want to go to this bar and try to like maybe talk to her so let's go together 1975 open wow <laughs> guys this bar is so vibey it's kind of prices for drinks Jack and Coke is Hongtona Tatana Long Island uh, Long Island I just saw a photo of my photo Oh, it's a photo It's a photo It's a photo Did you go to America? Yes Did you go to America? Yes Did you go to America? Yes 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 아 그래요? <웃음> 텍사스 너무 큰가? 내가 운전을 못하니까 남편이 아, 운전을 해주니까 아, 그것도 괜이란 거지? 아, 운전을 안 하고 뭐 버스가 있어? 테리 <웃음> 요즘 어때요 장사? 옛날 미국 사람이 많을 때하고는 비교가 안 되지만 그래도 네, 유명하시니까. <웃음> 근데 그 영어도 되게 잘하시던데 어떻게 배우셨어요? <웃음> 자 대단하세요. 네. 근데 그 할로윈 지나고 어때요 분위기? 할로윈 사고 나고서 막 죽어버렸는데 거기서 ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理をしてね。ちょっと前にお料理